Um, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I think I have some audio issues. I hope it's better because I have just plugged in the Ethernet cable. So I'm hoping that it would, it is uh, much better. Um, so next up, uh, we have uh, Torsten, Torsten Freiwe. Uh, is a, a degree TMC member since 2011 and is working with free and open source software since 1999. Uh, he started the initial implementation of OGC Simple Feature Spec with Java in 1999 for the University of Bonn in Germany. And he's currently working at Latlong uh, at uh, Bonn, Germany. So welcome, Torsten. Hi, my John. Thank you for the introduction. Um, yeah, my name is Torsten Friebel, and let's start the screen. Um, I will like to talk about how to contribute to the degree project. Um, I really have to thank Andrea and Ian for their presentation and what they talked about, what the daily life of a developer of an open source project looks like. And um, what they have talked about, I think I have some, let's say, help or first steps for developers looking at the degree project, but it is also, let's say, transferable to any other open source project, um, because I think in general, every project, as we just learned, is working in the same way. Um, yeah, the agenda, uh, very quick, um, some more info about me and Latlon. Then some information short about degree, and then I will show you how to contribute to the degree project. And uh, finally, um, I hope that there will be some questions I can answer. Yeah, uh, as John already said, uh, my name is Thorsten Frieber. I'm working at uh, the company at Latlon, and we are uh, heavily involved in open source software since more than 20 years. And um, we are um, technical, OGC technical member and um, are supporting the OGC team engine, which is also an OSGEO project still in incubation process. Today, I will talk about degree. Um, I hope that at least some of the participants today know what degree is and uh, hopefully they're using it maybe on the chat everyone using degree or at least have downloaded it um, can give a thumb up or maybe a thumb down if it didn't work but then as we learned it is by intention um, the degree project was started yeah, more or less 20 years ago. And it was started under the name of Jago. And um, I was the one who started before a project called Simple Features for Java, uh, which was later then renamed to Jago. And then it was finally named Degree. And uh, unfortunately, due to the pandemic, uh, we weren't able to celebrate the 20 years anniversary of Degree. Um, but we still keep that idea that someday, either in a virtual or a real time live event, we will do so. So more information about degree, uh, what it's all about, um, can be found at, at the OSGO website and of course, um, on the W w.degree.org, we will see that URL, that link uh, in a few slides. Um, it's an open source project. It's um, published under the LGPL 2.1. And in the past, we had at each conference, uh, the German speaking um, OSGEO chapter um, has its own conference. It's called the FOST GIS. And um, the FOSS for G, the global event. At each of those events, we had uh, user meetings, normally face to face, where we sit together and talk about so what are the users doing, what are they expecting. And um, this year's talk here, we are 
currently just in, was intended to have that kind of direct interaction as well. So that we developers are sitting in the same room with the users and we are talking, okay, what is going good and what is has to improve what is not so going good with degree. Um, yeah, and since it's not possible this year to have that room where we can sit together, I would like to give you, let's say, some impression how you can join the community uh, on electronic ways and communication channels. But first, we start with some numbers. Um, degree is in its niche, um, very popular, but it's not so well known, not uh, so distributed as geo server or map server. But in general, we can say that degree is offering the same um, or similar functionality as the mentioned OSGEO projects like map server and geo server. So degree is offering WMS view service and a download service, WFS. And um, if you join my talk tomorrow, uh, I will talk about the newest developments in the project. But today we want to focus on how to contribute. So currently um, 93 users um, on GitHub have forked our project. Forking means they made a copy of our project, of our JIT project on the platform GitHub, so then they can work on it. Starring a project means, oh, I really appreciate that this project exists and I give a thumb up and we have 97 of those stars. We are really happy about those. 23 um, users are watching the project and we have 24 contrib contributors um, to the project in the past. Some are active and some are more or less inactive. Over the time since the degree project exists, we released 211 releases, which can be downloaded from the website. So these are some numbers and these are some other numbers. Um, this traffic chart um, I have taken from GitHub. It's showing how many people are running a git clone command on their machine to get a copy from our JIT repository. And we see these two graphs. The blue line gives the unique uh, cloners and uh, sorry, the green line gives the unique clone and the, no, sorry, again, the green gives the total number of clones and the blue line gives the unique lines of Git clones. And you see, okay, we have more or less day two unique clones. So it seems to be that someone is out there and is using it. So, as we just learned um, in the talk by Andrea and Ian, open source is about do it yourself. So if I do see that someone is cloning the repository, I do expect that mm, this one, this person is making a copy of the source code and is trying to get it built and maybe get a bug fixed. So, <clears throat> and, the important thing is he is doing itself or he is just um, using uh, the knowledge he has. And most of uh, the persons who are doing that kind of clone are more, more or less developers. So open source is about doing it yourself. And um, we as an open source project are organized in the way as we just learned and heard from Andrea and Ian, that everyone has found his part, his role in that project. And with the next slides, I would like to give you out there 
um, some more um, yeah, help how to contribute to our project. And again, it's not about our project. Uh, it's about open source in general and our geo projects in general. So if we know there are people out there, one way to get in contact with the community is if you want to share your experience is using the mailing list. So the easiest way is subscribe to the mailing list. You will get one star for that activity if you're joining the mailing list of degree or any other mailing list of an open source project. I think that's the best way to get in contact with the people to see who's active, who's answering question, and um, yeah, who's um, asking question. The next step is step number two, download and test. Um, that sounds simple um, and it may require some technical no knowledge for a degree um, it's quite uh, easy if you are familiar with technology like docker um, we are providing a docker image with every release and you can simply use docker and use a docker pool and we provide information how to run our image and start a container with Docker. If you're not familiar with Docker, there's um, a download file, a bin, um, binary file, which you can download and drop it into your Java surflet container and just get it run. If you download the software and you see the link, uh, you go to www.degree.org download. Um, a good way is if you find, for example, a bug, report that bug or place a question on the mailing list. So if you download, run the software, you are testing it. And the best way to give feedback to the community is either to send an email to the mailing list or open an issue on GitHub. And this is the second link here. We see it's reporting bugs. We are using the issue tracker on GitHub. So if we have that step done, as maybe you're familiar with um, degree and um, can help others, you can do it already on the mailing list because you already signed in step one um, the mailing list. So you're getting uh, mails from the mailing list with questions and you're just replying to the mailing list. But there's another channel on GIS Stack Exchange where people are also placing questions. Um, this is a three-star activity because you are helping here people um, on a platform which is commonly used from uh, by other users and they may really um, use your answer to solve their problems and during my daily work when i do code when i try to fix a bug or when i try to resolve an issue um, or answer a question. I'm heavily using platforms like GIS, Stack Exchange, or other similar platforms. So, activity on that channel is really highly appreciated. Now we are coming to a really very interesting step. It's step four providing pull requests. Normally, it requires some more deeper insight into an open source project. So you have been active on the mailing list. You already downloaded the software. You have run it. You have tested it. And you may have reported already bugs. Here is a screenshot from our issue tracker from GitHub showing a list of yeah, recent bugs opened by users mostly people I know, which is good. And on the other hand, I would really like to have a more 
diversity um, on that as well, that others are um, opening and reporting bugs. So if you do have, for example, a bug report, try to fix it. This step, as we just learned from Andrea and Ian, again, I can refer to their talk, is it's really, it's heavy. Oh, there was a glitch on the internet. I'm back online, which is good. And so how to fix it? Um, this is, I think, a best way when you join one of our code sprints um, in best in person and not in virtual events to talk to the developers and to learn from them how to fix bugs. This step I know is not easy. Um, finding an issue, trying to find the relevant part of the codes, change the codes and provide a pull request. But these are really the highly appreciated contribution to an open source project. If you do so, if you prepare yourself to open a pull request, please read the contribution guidelines. Every open source project provides a contribution guidelines. The same with ours. Um, please read the contribution guidelines before and um, then check um, everything on those contribution guidelines before you open the pull request. Um, in the degree projects, we started years ago with labeling those open issues with um, spe specific labels. And one is contributions welcome. Currently, the degree project has 60 open issues labeled with contributions welcome. So if you're interested in joining the degree project, as a tester, a technical writer, or a software developer, then search for those contribution welcome issues. Um, these are giving you, let's say, kind of a guidance where the community is looking for support. Um, here, for example, I show it in real time. We have a list of those 60 contribution welcome issues and you can filter for example in combination for features or in combination with bugs enhancements or in the combination with contribution welcome and documentation so by using those labels we try to support others um, to contribute easier to degree and if we do see that um, contributions require a deeper knowledge of technology and the degree framework, we sometimes labor them with hard or easy, um, indicating that we expecting here um, some more work to be done. If you open and uh, and pull request and uh, followed all the contribution guidelines, the steps which are described there in detail. The best way to get this pull request into the project is join the TMC meetings. Uh, within the degree project, the technical management committee is a group of people responsible in reviewing pull request and then um, deciding if a pull request is introduced into the code base of degree um, into the main branch on which we build our releases then later on. Um, so joining TMC meetings is important for all those people and persons who are opening pull requests or are planning to do so. But it's not required that you have um, open a pull request or open the issue. You can join the TMC or the meetings of the community. Um, it's open to everyone and use um, 
either an IRC chat client or the web chat client with the links shown here on that slide. For all those persons who are still interested in contribute to the project, um, there is another important way of contribution. It's funding um, of an open source project. Some of the activities are done um, as volunteer work. And um, sometimes the people behind the project are meeting in person um, and for funding of code sprints or other activities done um, by the active group of maintainers. Um, it's really nice to have some funding for those events. Um, the degree project um, has introduced a new sponsorship the page and has added a donation button to its website. Also, we have activated the um, sponsor um, functionality on GitHub. I will show you in a second. And this is a very, very important part um, for an open source uh, project to have some funding for um, activities of the maintainer group, like a code sprint. So to see um, how is that um, shown on the website, we have a wiki page um, explaining the different ways how um, sponsorship can be done. Um, this is on the wiki page within um, the GitHub wiki of our project. And if you're opening the degree project on GitHub, now it shows up a sponsor button here to the OSGEO Foundation um, where you can use um, this slide or this site here um, to select the amount of money you want to contribute to the OSGEO Foundation, which at the end helps the degree project as well. So funding, um, that was step six of my list, um, how to contribute to um, an open source project in general and for the degree project um, in detail. I would like now to come um, to uh, the question and answer section. So having a look on the list, uh, on the chat, um, Maybe it's a time to place a question, and I would like, uh, yeah, to answer some of those in general about sponsoring of degree or some more detailed about how to contribute to degree. Okay, uh, thank you, Thorsten. Um, so there's one question in the questions now, uh, and also please note that there's a short delay, uh, almost ten minutes, so for the audience to. Get your questions or get your comments. So we are sure for response from the from the audience. But in the meantime, there's a question: Have the people using degree contacted you? What kind of interaction do you have with the cloners and forkers so far? Normally, we do get uh, feedback either by the mailing list or um, by issues which are opened on GitHub, on the GitHub issue tracker. Um, sometimes, and I really have to say by accident, we get feedback that people are using Degree when one of our demo services are down because we learned that our infrastructure is used by others to see if um, degree is serving um, data. If you go to the degree website, we have a, a demo website um, I can show. Um, it's here, it's uh, the demo website. We are offering some services here, um, and unfortunately outdated um, demo workspace with some um, inspired data. Um, we have um, some data from 
uh, Utah from the US, we have a WPS. And sometimes when those services are offline, we get feedback like, hey, our services are offline. Um, I'm using those services as a reference for whatever. Um, another very important infrastructure component is our schema um, servers where we host all the schemas used by degree. Um, this can be found by schemasdegree.org. It's a, a website uh, serving all the, the files, the schema files of degree. And unfortunately, for example, this year during the um, uh, rebuild of our infrastructure, those um, files have been offline they are, have been not accessible by users and that had uh, an impact on their running degree instance and then people are getting in contact with us and then we learn who is using degree awesome. okay. Um, thank you very much first of all, um, the update uh, on the project and uh, ways describing ways how people can use can, can interact with you can support your project um, I think uh, there are no additional questions or comments uh, from the audience um, we can wait one or two minutes if you like we can we can wrap up if you like so um, any any questions that the audience might have any questions that you might have you can get in touch with Thurston Thurston from the uh, when you use platform um, to have a chat with him or, or dive into your questions yeah sure I really would appreciate if um, users are um, potential users um, are getting back to us. Yeah, thank you. And um, I wish you all a, a great uh, conference. Thanks. Bye bye. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Also. Have a nice one. Bye. Um, OK, so uh, we have uh, three minutes uh, for the next presentation uh, titled Building an Open Source Community in Pandemic. Uh, will be presented by Mohammed Ignal Haq uh, and uh, we will be back uh, in three minutes uh, at, at the time at, at the scheduled time of the session thank you